Okay, so since I'm 41, for I would get my talent. Just got two points. I actually forgot in the last video. Mike does a lot sprinter. I feel like if I get sprint, because Yeah, let's get the last sprint here. It seems okay. So apparently now I run f faster. And we're going into the second mission now. I wonder how fast I run. See this? Ah, oh, the super speed. So it's actually a lot faster. It's a lot faster. Oh, I'm so fast now. Also, I defeated the first boss on Manic. Oh my god. Oh, so many minions here. But I got nothing good. I got a helmet. That's pretty bad. Second underground facility here. Whoa. Whoa. Everything is exploding. Someone mystery guy here. Kanada,那个有名的，不同的，不同的，不同的，不同的，不同的，不同的，不同的，不同的，不同的，不同的，不同的，不同的，不同的，不同的，不同的，不同的，不同的，不同的，不同的，不同的，不同的，不同的，不
why can't I walk there? I don't want them to drop loot there. That's bad. Let's kill the instead. Oh, this way you disable it, okay. Interesting. Grab a little squatty. Who's that guy? Looks even angrier than earlier. Everyone, he's the same as the other boss. Like first in the round. Not a lot of minions there. Good night, sweet prince. Okay, got one quest to turn in. I can show what I got. I got, I got this item from the fire boss. But it doesn't look that good. Oh. So apparently there are different items. Like quality of items. As you can see my items. Oh, I killed all the bosses in... Uh, Area 9, I think it's called, on Manic. So I got Raven's classes. I got excellent, as you can see. Towards this first episode, I killed Manic and I got Inferior, which is worse than excellent. I think excellent is best. I'm not sure. Anyway, I got excellent Raven's classes, excellent shoulder guards, Raven's, and excellent Raven's leg guards. So. Okay, I got excellent here too, but the uh, flow 35. Okay. This further one is the main quest. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. But I'm supposed to find the AI. She tells us the quest to be clear. <laughs> sure, this time it's the truth. He's, he's pretty weird. Yet again, this is a weird general, isn't it? Look, there's always weird commanders here. Well, it was reassembled just here. It looked like little penguins or dogs. Pen penguin dogs. Pen dogs. That's awful. Pen dogs. Got Supernova, Supernova. Got it now. Oh, 
on the crush on defense system was activated. Oh. Lose the seat. Trying to kill you here. This is so weird. I don't think I want to use some other soul so no I'll save it for the boss. I think I might get I get so much points here actually. I might just use it here. Or after, you know minions are done. Let's use some of the next minions. Where's the boss here, perhaps? Let's use it. Do you want me to try and make it with torture? That's her face. This <laughs> aggressive, right? I'm supposed to destroy these things. Let, let's get to them. Top power. I can't do that yet. So many enemies here. Yeah. Power source sub AI core. I don't think I Destructor core. It's the same model, kind of. It's just a accurate soul nova. Oh, it's already dead. Wow. It's so much damage. What now? What's that? Abel. I know she's crying. What's <laughs> What are you doing during here? There are loud noises outside. Mom and Daddy say you have to go in there. The, this whole the whole time it was loud the whole time and then suddenly it was quiet. Now I'm all alone in the dark. Alone. Always alone. Boys shouldn't cry on their own in a place like this. Look, stop crying and come out if you want to live. Yes, understood. Oh it's a guy, okay. Oh yeah, there's this guy. So he works for for the Ned company, I think. That's what he's trying to say. You're the one who brought this kid to the base. Did you want me to just leave it there? No, I'm just a little skeptical. After all, we just saw a child walk out of a building the Ned company abandoned. Everyone can have their doubts, but someone like you is not particularly convincing. Your doubt appears superfluous. I'm deadly serious this time, then show us how serious you are in everyday life too. I agree. The shyness wouldn't come down, we can worry about that later. Oh, pretty awful. I was only expressing my opinion as a member of the investigation team. And it's all not doubt, whatever way you cut it. Don't, don't say things like that in front of this child. Maybe you've read too many crime novels. Don't push it. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, all good, I made a mistake. Alright, that's not doubting, I won't. 
The biological investigations have shown that it is 100% human. This kid is neither a soldier, a shy, or a blood soul worker, but it's there still to doubt. Yes, we have to find out that now. Machines don't lie, the child is simply a normal human. Hmm, when you put it like that, Dr. Francis, I have nothing else to add. It is psychologically unstable, so exercise caution in your dealings with it. Otherwise you have to answer to me, Avon, got it? Yeah, go ahead, I'm Avon, leader of the investigation team. I keep quiet and do nothing. Guess some come to me later saying, why well, didn't you do anything? Pretty narrow-minded. If the result says human, then the kid is human. I just don't agree with it. In that case, I won't conduct an investigation. Can I at least speak to your child? So you don't want to interrogate it. Amanda, why are you so distrustful of me but so friendly towards this child? I want to find out why this kid appeared alone out of thin air. What happened beforehand? What happened beforehand? I can ask that myself, right? No, I can't subject this child to full interrogate. Ah, you're about to say interrogation. You just been found guilty. You're off the investigation team. Maybe you need to resign from your position. I understood. I give up. Yeah, yeah. I'll ask everybody these questions. Just be quiet, Avon. Thanks for helping me out with my work. I don't trust those kids. Le let's go, Lily. Oh, hi. Hello, I'm Amanda. What's your name? Oh, I'm Abel. Yes, Abel. Please to meet you. Can we talk quickly? What? It doesn't matter. So what did you want to tell me? Ah, don't worry. Ignore the dangerous looking guy behind you. A dangerous looking guy, you mean me? He, he doesn't look that dangerous. Oh, he's dangerous, alright. Doesn't matter if it's a boy or girl. The main thing is you're sweet. He, there seems to have been a big understanding. Let's talk about it later. Oh, how thoughtless of me. We forgot to int introduce ourselves. We are soldiers from the Starry Forest League. And we're here to catch some bad guys. Then you're a hero or something like that. Well, I wouldn't call myself a hero, but the big sister standing back there, so absent-mindedly, she's a heroine. I don't fight to be called that. In any case, we're the good guys who haven't kidnapped you to eat you, so there's no need to worry. Understood? Yes, okay. So do you want to tell us why you were all alone in this place? I, I really don't know why. My parents worked here, my entire family lived here. One day, my parents suddenly locked me in there. They said something very dangerous was happening and that I must not come out. They said I shouldn't open the door until they called my name. It was very noisy outside and I kept hearing stuff being broken. And I kept hearing people screaming. Oh, okay. So they didn't leave without putting up resistance. Then suddenly everything went quiet. I was so afraid. I kept waiting in there. Then I heard voices and it was you. Wait, how long have you been in there? I don't know, I don't know how much time has passed. If you assume they escaped immediately after the incident in Grey City, that's about two weeks. For a kid who's been left alone for two weeks, his clothes are remarkably clean. Ah, uh, my clothes were so dirty, so I took an outfit from the Ned Research Laboratory. There has happened to be kids' things laying around? Alright, let's just assume that's true. I guess there was a toilet in there too. Um, yes, how did you know? And they were there on telephones, radios. Avon, what are you doing? I'm just speaking normally to the boy. This is how the members of the investigation team talk to each other every day. As a morning greeting, we asked for an alibi for the night before. I told you, I'll handle this. Stay out of it. Yes, yes. So, Abel, you can tell me why you are here. My daddy is a researcher here. He designed and built this facility, so our whole family was here. Hmm, then tell me, Abel, do you know how to disarm Lucy? Avon, how is a small child supposed to know that? Oh, you mean Lucy, the main AI running the place? Uh, I've picked up one or two things here, even if I didn't want to. It will be more suspicious to know nothing at all. Yeah, that's right. Abel, we need to have a look at the place. But we're not getting along with AI Lucy, she's making it difficult. Do you want to be friends with Lucy? Do you know how we can do that? Oh, you mean, we're not making progress because of Lucy? You can just delete Lucy. Delete? Isn't it possible and that she destroyed or something as a last resort? Isn't it something like that? Yes, yeah, Lucy only takes control when no people are there. If you delete Lucy, humans can take control. That's what my dad said anyway. I see, we thought nothing here could work without Lucy. So we made all this effort to gain control for nothing. It hurts most when you realize you've done something for nothing. We just have to delete her. 
Right, it was a waste of time. Let's go. Yes, let's go and delete her. Hey, did I do something wrong? You're not to blame, so don't worry. Here, take this. This is a device for destroying secret data. You can use it on any program. Any machine will freeze immediately when the device is attached. Please use it to punish Lucy, who's constantly getting in our way. We have to teach Lucy a lesson. A lesson? Hmm, talk about pots and kettles. Pretty obvious, really. No wonder there's no progress. Okay, let's do that. I can do this now. Let's upgrade both of, both of these. Okay, nice. Don't want to use anti-destruction. I'll probably assist it on a weapon. <gasps> no. Oh, almost destroyed them. Okay. That was scary. Okay. <laughs> 